What's up guys? Welcome back. Um, so in the last video that we spoke, I did uh, uh, winter tips and tricks on your on your diesel vehicle or I mean kind of your gas fired vehicle. But here in Michigan, in true Michigan form, we got the doors open guys. We got the doors open. We have jumped 60 degrees. 60 degrees since uh, last time we spoke, which was yeah, a couple days ago. So we went from being in negative 30, 30 to 40, wind chills included. So about negative, you know, 15, 20, somewhere in there. To we are now at 40 degrees and climbing, and we're going to see 55 by Monday. So anyway, we were hoping, we were hoping to take the old 6.5 here and slam dunk her back into where she, uh, where she belongs. But because of... We got all this snow, and with everything thawing out, let me show you guys real quick. So, I, I built up a lot of snow. Look at that bad girl. I'm going to get you fired up and cleaned up today. So, my barn, unfortunately, it goes downhill. And I've had an issue with flooding before. Uh, for those of you guys that know me, you know my barn floods. And so, with this thawing out... You know, everything running downhill, it's going to make for a mess. My my driveway turns into a mud pit. We got to move the Duramax, move the Cummins. Go out back, bring that thing up. We got to move these two out of the way. And I'm just not willing to abuse my lawn and, and my driveway. It's supposed to cool off, cool back off, so the ground should harden up a little bit. And we'll go from there. But anyway, I'm done talking. I'm done ranting today. Today we are going to fix a common issue with these GM trucks. And that is the tow haul not working. Um, I've had to do this with uh, my old one, the blue Duramax that I had. I had to do it with Lola too. And now it looks like I get to do it with this. So I'm going to dig into that. I'm not going to do a full on how to. But basically, long story short... 99.9% .9 of the time when your tow haul doesn't work, it's this fix right here. Okay, so let me turn this light on. So these right here, this right here is actually the wire for your tow haul. And with the tilt steering column and that, these things break. And, that you know, people will fix them. But I, the way that I fix it is I actually add about an inch and a half to two inches of wire in here. That way when you're going through the motions of the tilt function, you know, it's not it's not getting stuck in there. There's a little bit of extra wiggle room. You know, it's just, it's nicer to deal with. So I'm going to go ahead and, I, this can all be done with base candles. Um, I solder everything. I don't use butt connectors. It's just my personal preference. So I'm going to get everything I need, tear this thing up, or tear this thing apart, and then I'm going to catch up with you guys. So, yeah, I, I don't know why I do that. It, it feels weird. I'm talking to an inanimate object, and yet I still feel the need for transitions, whatever. So I'm going to take this apart. <laughs> So now, and just like that, you can see right here, this is just where it um, where it popped off. So what I'll do is, like I said, I add about an inch or so of wire. A lot of people try to squeeze that last little bit out of there, but what you don't realize is you're actually shortening it. So we're going to lengthen it, give it a little bit more travel, and uh, pretty much that's it. We'll test it up after that. It kind of works out this... Uh, 
vehicle is disgusting on the inside so i'm gonna clean some stuff up while i'm at it and then i'm gonna catch up with you guys once the fix is done i guess i really don't know what christmas is all about We got that all finished up, all snugged away. Um, I used 22 gauge wire because that's what I had. But um, you know, it gives we we gained about an inch or so, maybe an inch and a quarter of travel room here. That's gonna be kind of hard to do one-handed, being that the uh, the tab's not on there, and I'm trying to hold the, the camera. But you get all this extra, all this extra room, extra slack for movement. Now the real test, am I full of crap or does this actually work? So, and now before this didn't work. There we go, it's all haul on, it's all haul off. Just as, just as simple as that guys, I, I swear it's 90, 99.99% of the time. It's that little clown right there. And it, really the only difficult thing that you have to do, or that is kind of a pain in the ass if I can find the little guy, um, is this little clip right here for your tilt. It just, you know, it, it slides in and out of there the way that it clips in. So you, all you need to do is just grab, on, grab onto it with a pair of pliers. I used uh, vice grips. Because I'm lazy. And just grab the hold. Now, okay. This is, this is a lot harder to do when you only have one hand. There we go. I, I'm telling you, this, this being left-handed stuff is not easy. Which you guys will see while I was attempting to solder. So I was also trying to stay out of the way of the camera, but you know, you can't win it all. But anyway, um, that's it. Like I said, pop this little guy out with a pair of pliers. Um, let's be honest, this is an older GMT truck. So the screws that hold that together aren't even there to hold the covers on. And just pop your bezel off. That's, that's really all you got to do. So hopefully that... Um, that helps some of you guys out. You know, like I said, that works on um, our Tahoe, our 1500 Tahoe, Tahoes, 1500 trucks, Suburbans, um, both Duramaxes that I have, um, even the newer style that's going in, that big guy there, but that's, um, that's pretty much all that I got for you guys. You know, I, I, I really hope that that helps some of you guys out. You know, again, it's not the video that I had promised, but you know, with when you're a homeowner, trust me, it's, it's not worth it. We already don't have enough room here as it is. Um, hopefully we will be moving here shortly. Bigger shop, bigger house. Neighbor delete kit would be nice. So, but anyway, that's, that's it. That's all that I got for you guys. We're really hoping the weather breaks because I want to start tearing into this thing because this old truck 
And uh, this thing right here are going to have a play date. What does that mean? You can stick around and find out. We're going to be hopefully dropping this big son of a bitch on his chassis. Get the, uh, yeah, anyway. But anyway, thanks guys. I'm rambling. I'm kind of running out of shit to talking about. That's the end of the vlog. I love you all. Thank you so much for the support and those of you that actually believe that I can do this. And uh, we're going to keep going. Take care. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. We'll see you.